Hey everyone, it's Destiny from the Dream Create Inspire Tour, and today we're bringing you another episode of Fire Lane Fridays. So today we have Wayne Watts at Dr. Martin Luther King Early College in Denver, Colorado. He's hosting an interactive experience and conversation with a world-renowned anime creator and electrical engineer. The students in today's episode are either interested in engineering themselves or anime. So it's going to be a great time and tune in for more. You laugh. We are live. It's official. We're right here at Dr. Martin Luther King Early College. Make noise one time, y'all. So, my name is Wayne Watts. I am hosting Fire Lane Fridays today. We are at Dr. Martin Luther King Early College in Denver, Colorado. And this is part of the Dream Create, Dream Create platform. So, with that being said, today we have a really special guest on the line, none other than the homie from the University of Maryland. Tony Drake, he is an electrical engineer by the daytime and nighttime. He is a DJ, one part of one of the dopest uh, radio stations in Maryland, and then he created his own uh, anime series. So please give it up for Tony Drake, yo! <laughs> My God, hey, you hit on what's going on with me? Yeah, Tony Drake. Yeah, yeah, no, I can hear you guys. I can hear you guys. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. All right, Max, so first question, so how did you get into engineering? Uh, engineering, uh, it was actually kind of random. Uh, like I had a, a lot of friends that went to, um, that were into engineering from like a young age. Uh, we all went to an, uh, I guess a magnet school, but I wasn't in the magnet program. Just kind of like put that whole thing off. Um, and then it was like the first day of registration um, I was, uh, I was standing in like a really long line cause I was just going to do undecided because I was going to be a track star. And I saw a really short line where one of my friends was standing in and I said, like, what, like, why is that line so short? And he says, because this is the line to sign up wearing. And so I said, bet, let me just jump in that line so I can get out of here. And then later on I'll change my major. Um, but just never wound up changing my major. So. All right, that's what's up. So, say that, say, man, um, what classes in high school do you think prepared you for that field? So, I'm going to bring you in the 8th grade. Man, we're bringing you in the 8th grade. 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th 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 grade
um, that I was DJing until I felt that I was at a point where I could um, like perform perform well, and then from there just just ran with it. Awesome, good stuff, good stuff. So, um, with that being said, we, we did want to transition in. So, raise your hand if you guys are interested in anime. Hands up, hands up. Cool. They were waiting for this topic. They was like, like I hear this. I want to, I want to hear what anime is hitting for. So, with that being said, can you please talk to us about the indies and just talk to us about that creation of how you got into anime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the indies. Uh, is a is an animated series that um, I'm trying to get greenlit, um, and it takes place in a post-apocalyptic future, uh, but there's still hip hop around. So the main character Slick, more than anything, wants to be the universe's next biggest hip hop star, and he's willing to do anything to make that happen. So one day he winds up meeting a DJ who says, "If you sign this contract, I can make all your dreams come true." So of course he doesn't read the contract, signs it anyway. Come to find out, he actually signed up to be a hitman for hire. So now he has to navigate being a hitman and releasing a debut album all at the same time. Um, and, and just kind of the way that it, that it started was, like, I've always been into music. I've, I've always been into um, to anime and animation. So um, I just kind of thought, like, why not combine all of that? Um, and, like, I don't have any background in, in animation. Like, I can't even draw. Um, but it was something that I wanted to do. And so just the same way that I did with DJing, just kind of taught myself like what's involved, um, looked out looked out, and saw like what people had done in the past um, and just kind of like emulated that and put my own twist on it. Um, but it really wasn't anything special. It was, it was just research and, and, and uh, deciding that that's something that I wanted to do and then going out and actually getting it done. That's what's up. So a question we have here. So for students that are interested in making their own anime or designing their own anime or creating their own anime, what are some steps you've seen along the way that can help them in the process of creating their own show? Um, I would definitely say the, the first part is, um, I guess, has to deal with just organization. Um, being able to kind of uh like stay on stay on schedule um because one of the things about animation is that it takes a lot of different steps um in order to get something done so you kind of like one person will start on doing the lines and then they'll pass it over to the person that's doing the colors and then they're passing it over to the person that's doing the uh that's doing like the shadows. And so if anybody's late on that, then it winds up kind of backing up the whole pipeline and making things um, like come in late. Um, so being on time, on schedule, that's a big one. Um, I think the other thing is uh, getting your writing skills up, um, being able to write and have it be clear and concise and entertaining. Um, because you, there's just a, a bunch of stuff that you're going to have to to write, whether it be like the story or character descriptions or dialogue. Um, so I would definitely say that's that's something to to really work on. All right, Bab. So say your name and who you go to, the grade and the question. My name is Erica Pippa. I go to MLK and I'm a 12th grader. My question is, what's your favorite anime? Oh, what's my favorite anime? Oof. Um, I would have to go with uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. It's one of true applause. How long did it get you to get started on your first anime that you're working on now? Ah, gotcha. So, um, that it was, it's been a long time. I actually came up with the idea eight years ago. Um, and it was just, I want to say within the last three was when we actually started, um, like, like when we actually started like developing it. Um, and I think that's the time where, uh, cause there's also music that goes along with it. 
And I think that's the time when you, Wayne, when you came out um, out here and actually recorded a song for the series. Um, so it, it's probably, it, it's kind of one of those things where how they say like an overnight success like takes 10 years to make. Um, like it's been a long time in the works, but um, now that I'm actually at the end of it, like it, 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 it's definitely, it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Oh, hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, here we go, boom. Uh, my name's Marissa, I go to MLK, and I was wondering what genre is your animation? So it's, uh, I like to call it like an action dramedy uh, type, uh, type of cartoon. Um, so it's a lot of action, a lot of it's based off of, off of music. Um, and then there's kind of comic relief in there to, to break up the, the, the tense moments. Um, but it's one of those things where when I wrote it, um, it's something where I put the characters in these tough situations. Um, but it's kind of up to whoever the viewer is to kind of decide if the actions that they're taking are right or wrong. Um, so it's a lot of, it's a lot of like gray areas in the, uh, in the, uh, in the characters that are, that are in the, uh, in the series. Oh, there we go. So you don't have to say anything. Oh yeah, actually, come on, come on, give it up one more time. Uh, my name is Nathan and I go to MLK. Um, so what inspired you to make the story like it is now? Um, so what inspired me? It was basically um, like watching TV and not seeing the stuff that I wanted to see, um, not seeing the characters that I wanted to see. So instead of complaining about it, like I, I just decided to do something about it and create something, uh, create something for myself. So if you don't see something on TV that represents you, you should do what? Make it yourself. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, right? That's why we have to create on these. Like, so a lot of times you'll see stuff like, hey, I want, I want to, I want to see this spaceship interact with this. You don't see it on TV, right? That's the moment to create it yourself. That's the moment where you have to take that and do it. Y'all feel that? Say yeah. 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 I feel that? Say oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna find some more of that real quick. All right, off the top of the real, real quick, real quick. Real quick, that that goes for like anything. Thanks. Like if you if, if you see something like in your community that you don't like, like don't just sit there and complain about it. Like actually do something. Um, because if you're complaining but you're not you're not doing anything, like you're kind of just contributing <laughs> to the problem. Um, so yeah, if there's something that you don't like, it's as simple as that. Just just change it. Give it up for Tony Drake one time, y'all. Yo, real quick, hey. Yep. Real quick. Let me, uh, I actually want to show them just one more thing if I can share my screen real quick. Absolutely. Hit it. Hit it. Right. Let me see. So let me try to, all right. Oh, here we go. So I just want to show you guys, can you guys see my screen? Yep. Okay. So I wanted to show you guys some of the uh, some of the concept art that's actually from the uh, the animated short. So this is the character Ronnie, and um, like we went through and we did this for all the characters, where we tried to show them uh, show like different emotions. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys is actually like how we go, um, like kind of where we start from. So this is uh, an actual final shot uh, from, from the short. Um, so this is what you're going to wind up seeing. Um, but it came from, from this, which actually came from this, which came from this. Hey, it's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, that's me. Okay, let me see. Hold on. I got hyped. Sorry. I so, uh, yeah, so your, your, your teacher is in the short, but I wanted to show you guys this because, like, when you guys create stuff, um, like, because it's yours, you can put whatever you want in there. Um, and it's dope, like, when you get to accomplish your, your goals and you get to bring uh, all the people that helped you with it. Um, 
So yeah, I just wanted to to show you guys that and let you guys know that your teacher he's he's going to be uh, he's going to be on the big screen. Going to be on the big screen. Hey man, I we appreciate you so much. So on behalf of Fire Lane Fridays, Drink Great Inspired, Dr. Martin Luther King, please give it up. Stand up in the warm. Welcome. Whoa. Thank you, sir. We will talk soon. This is the Fire Lane Fridays. This Fireland Friday's episode was brought to you by Prodigy Coffee House and the Dream Create Inspire Tour team.